Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the Google Play Store on your iOS device. This works for iPhones and for iPads. And as you can see here, I have the Play Store installed. This is a fully working Play Store where we will be able to get any app that it's only available for Android devices. And as you can see here, it's basically an emulated version of the Play Store. Here we can, for example, go on the games and we can choose any game or app or whatever, whatever you want to install and we will be able to just install it very easily in our phone, okay? So we can install any app using this App Store or, or Play Store for iOS devices. It's super easy, it just works as the same and you can also log in with your Google account if you want. So now just press on play on the game or app that you have downloaded and you will be able to just run it on your iOS device. This is a very uh, good solution for the people that it's looking for apps that are only available on Android and they need to work on iOS devices. So now I'm going to show you how to install this Play Store without jailbreaking your device with a super easy steps. So I'm going to show you right now how to do it. All right, the first step that you are going to do is go on the settings on your iOS device and now you'll scroll down a little bit and just go into the general tab right here, okay? Go here on the general tab and now you need to find this other um, this other uh, setting called background app refresh, which is this one, background app refresh. Just press on here and here at the top you shall see an option that uh, it's called background app refresh. So you need to make sure that this option is turned on and if you have it off, uh, normally it will be on because on all iOS devices it's turned on by default. But if it's off, press on it and then just put it on Wi-Fi and cellular data, okay? Now you can go back to the settings on your iOS device and now you'll scroll down until you find the battery settings here. So just go on battery. Here on battery, make sure that you have the low port mode disabled like this. And after doing these changes, now you are ready to install this uh, modified version of Play Store that works on any iOS device. All right, so to do this, what we need to do is open Safari, okay? And now we'll go to this site, uh, which is called IppSafe.club. So make sure to go to this uh, site, IppSafe.club. This is the official website of developers of this Play Store for iOS devices. So here on IppSafe, if you scroll down a bit, you'll find this Google Play Plus Plus extended Google Play for any iOS. And this is the app that we are going to install very easily in our phone without downloading any file. I'm going to show you right now how to do it. So to do it, just tap on it one time. Now just press on start injection. And as you can see now, it's saying connecting with your phone and then it will say downloading Google Play Plus Plus. So what it's doing right now is connecting to uh, our phone via the browser. And basically what it will do is install a browser extension that will work like a normal app. So that's how it's possible to install apps without downloading files or doing anything. Totally automatic, all you need to do is just wait and then you shall see the Play Store installed on your home screen. So now we'll just wait and after everything has been complete, you shall see this page that says that the app has been injected. But if it's the first time that you do this, instead of this page, you will see a list of two or three apps here. In that case, don't worry, what you need to do is just tap to an app, read the instructions, then press on install, you will be redirected to the App Store, install the app and complete the instructions inside the app. It's super easy, it just takes like a few minutes and after you have done that, your iPhone or iPad will be validated and then you shall see this page right here, which means that the app has been correctly installed. Now, just check your home screen. Here you will see the Play Store icon, as you can see. And now this is the extension. And what you need to do is just run it for the first time. And then the Play Store will run on your iOS device. And that's it, guys. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you in the next video. Peace.